Hi, good afternoon. It's Bini here. Today on the 20th of October, all right, I'm going to talk about Aussie weakness. So let's take a look at the disclaimer first and then we're going to talk about Aussie, all right? Um, yesterday, I talked about Euro strength and then the earlier I was talking about the Kiwi weakness and then let's take a look at Aussie weakness and we're going to pick put them into um you know a coherent picture of what we are really after okay so let's take a look at aussie frank so um frank and euro they are looking strong so we want to pair the euro and the frank with the aussie and the kiwi so that's um the movement right now okay there seems to be a change in flow but technically so let's focus on the price chart i have here for example um a trend line so you can see that this trend line is pointing very well why Aussie Frank is stopping here but more important sometimes we are not able to draw all these lines on time okay because then these lines again they become more obvious when it really happens and I pointed out that um, you know uh, in many videos uh, ago all right that we have this bearish uh, tall pattern that's being plotted here so that's on the weekly chart with a thick all right a red thick which means that tall is pointing to bearishness and for two weeks and three weeks price isn't really moving up we have all these tall lines that's helping us to let us know that it's being resisted okay so that's a very very clear view for us okay now um, last week Aussie Frank broke below the support and this week we have Aussie Frank hitting right up to the support that now has became a resistance and then is uh, heading down okay so that's a very very clear plan and if, if, if you can't spot aussie frank being a shot then put in tall you will see that there's a bearish stick here and then you know the tall lines are providing resistance all right now let me just um, take a look again into the daily chart what we have in the daily chart is a very clear view that we have various sell signal but more important price close below a very important line here so that's the weak wash line 65.10 yesterday priced attempt to move up and today it came back down so this seems to suggest that the breakout of Aussie Frank is a very valid breakout and we are just waiting for a chance to re-enter on the short Okay. Now, there might not be a chance, but uh, let's observe a little bit. Definitely, the price action is pointing to bearishness. Um, we have the first opening bar here, and then we have the second bar that's uh, closing at 1 p.m., all right, uh, potentially closing below the first opening bar low. All right. Now, let me just check into Aussie dollar. Uh, example, uh, we, we had a short in Aussie dollar, and we went short. All right, uh, so we, we shorted somewhere around here. Price moved down into a support. We took that trade. We took the profit, and uh, today it's uh, coming lower. So that's Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, remember, price is near the support, right? Uh, and we, we want to sell. We always uh, want to sell high. So we are not uh, really looking very much into the Aussie dollar, but using the Aussie dollar, it is looking like a uh, bearish pattern. All right, what is the bearish pattern here? Is looking uh, for a lower high, all right, coming into a support, but more like a massive shoulder hit in the right shoulder. All right. I remember that in one of the session, uh, I talked about going long, long term on the Aussie, and the level that we are looking at would be around the sixty-eight region. So I'm still keeping this, uh, you know, region in mind for long. But at this moment, we are looking for a sell. Right, so if you take a look at the Aussie dollar right now, it's very clear, right? Price was palm up, cannot hold above the previous high and move back down. That's a very nice wash and means in the weekly time frame. Okay, but what we are really after is this trade here, right? That's the opposite of Aussie franc and that's Euro Aussie. Now Euro Aussie, you can see it's the same thing, right? Tor had a very, very nice buy signal here and stayed supported for many weeks on the tall line so that's very important um, in trading you want to be able to see that move happen before it actually happens you don't want to see that move after it has happened and then we can't make all the money right so tall had a very nice buy signal here right what we are looking right now is that as long as you have tall 
all right you know that you are not going to sell that keeps you on the safe side all right so we need to plan on how we're gonna uh, work on this buy here okay so let's take a look into the day chart so day chart we have the weak wash line we have another bullish tall coming inside here and that bullish tall work very well all right it's uh, continue its movement upwards um so um this movement in the Euro Aussie move very well. More importantly, more importantly, all right, price has already broke out of this massive consolidation. All right, I repeat, price has already broke out of this massive consolidation. All right, so we are looking for some form of ret retracement when it comes back probably near to this level here. All right, the level that we are looking can be around 1.6534 all the way to 1.6585. So that's the range that we are looking for in terms of retracement. All right, and if it doesn't retrace, don't worry. Um, Tor will always give us a re-entry and we will plan that re-entry accordingly. So do a keep a lookout on Euro Aussie and Aussie Frank.